Hey gamers, if you're so dang frustrated with The Sims 4 is already running error, then you're in the right place. Stay tuned. So there comes a time in every Simmer's life where they have this error. The Sims 4 is already running. Left bracket ED 35 E 0 EA colon 29 F 0 0 E 7 6 colon 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 colon 1 8 A 1 DD 5 1 right bracket. And while that long string of letters and numbers isn't really necessary, someone out there might just type that instead of The Sims 4 is already running. Anyways, it's to increase the video searchability for people who hate running through fixes that don't work. <laughs> so if you've tried everything like clearing cache, restarting, or even reinstalling, and it's still messing with you, don't give up yet. There's a fix, but I will warn you, it's a bit of a thing, and you'll see why. Watch the video twice before doing anything. That way you'll know what's about to happen before you try anything. So let me start with this amazing story. I had a customer my first time where I had an actual struggle moving their game. Like seriously. I moved the game, started it up, got the error. I uninstalled and reinstalled the game, still got the error. I reinstalled EA, guess what? Still got the error. I repaired the game. Error. I redownloaded the entire game. Error. I tricked the game into going offline and then manually patched the files with the original version of the game. Error. I uninstalled EA app with Revo. Didn't work. I uninstalled The Sims 4 with Revo. Didn't work. I made sure all the app data file folder was gone. Still no dice. I cranked up the heat and downloaded an older version of the EA app launcher after doing an uninstall and restarting. Nothing. I tried adding the folder to the Windows Defender bypass exclusions. Didn't work. I tried doing the DX11 fix. Didn't work. I made sure that the file folder had full access. Nothing. But this led me down a very interesting path. Right as I was going through this, pulling my hair out, my client said, Hey, how about we reinstall Windows or try it on another laptop I have? It's practically brand new. And guess what? We tried installing it on that one and voila, it just worked. But this got the cogs in my brain going finally. I had been so tired by this point, guys. You have no idea. Instead of reinstalling the entire operating system, what if we just created a new Windows user profile on the desktop? And guess what? It actually worked. Now, the real actual reasoning behind it is rather funky, and it's definitely not something that's easily explainable, but I'll say this. Over time, as I typically recommend, Windows builds up junk and this has to be cleaned out. Well, some of that junk is like semi-permanent, like stuff like links, registries, and DLLs get jacked up in the background, and there's not an easy way to just restore this profile or something like that. And the part that sucks about all this is that whenever this happens, creating a new profile can cause a mess of stuff. Like now you have to go and make sure all of your other games are playable, or you have to move save files that were in that former profile to the new profile and stuff like that. Well, I'll help you get the error taken care of, and then as for the data, we'll sort that out after the fact. So here's how to create a new profile for those of you who need those instructions. Go to the search in the start menu. If you don't have it, simply open the start menu and start typing. It'll automatically create a search bar. Now, erase whatever you might have just typed and type settings and open the settings app. Click on the Accounts tab on the far left. Scroll down a bit and find other users with this little cool icon on it. In the top right corner, there should be an Add Account button. Click it to start creating the new account. Working with EA support and their forums can be a bit of a gamble, and you might get help or you might not. And if you play with mods like I do, you're not even officially supported. That's why I offer a dedicated service where I take care of all the heavy lifting for you. Through remote sessions, I work directly with you to solve your Sims 4 issues, whether it's fixing a game that won't load, moving your game or save files to another drive, troubleshooting mods, or tackling any other technical issues with your game. I handle all the hard work so you don't have to, making sure your game runs as smoothly as possible. Check out the description for more details on how to subscribe and get your Sims game fixed today. And by the way, this isn't just for Sims 4 players. If you're still enjoying the charm of The Sims 3, I can help you out there too.
For this section, you'll want to create a local user account. It's more tied to the system, and if you've had OneDrive issues in the past when you were trying to move your game or something like that, you're going to be glad you created a local account. So here, click I don't have this person sign in information. On the next page, click Add a user without a Microsoft account. This will kick off everything. In the username, type whatever you want. It could be Ashley, The Sims 4, Snoop Dogg, I mean, whatever you want. Then put in a password. If you're the only person living in the apartment and you swear nobody will be touching your things, then you can choose to not have a password and click Next. If it forces you to have a password here, I'm totally sorry, but if it's a home-based PC, this should work just fine. Now after this, you're going to want to click on the new user Snoop Dogg you just made and select change account type. We're going to give it administrator privileges. Under account type, simply change it from standard user to administrator and then click OK. Once that's done, sign into your new account by logging out of this account. If you do this during the video and you're watching it on your PC, just a reminder, it's going to stop my video. And the only reason why I mentioned that is sometimes the videos I watch tell me to restart and I forget I'm needing to do other steps past restarting. And now, yeah, well, I got to wait. <laughs> but on the login screen, just sign into your new account, open the EA app and open the Sims 4. This should work like a charm. So to transfer your game data to make it yours again, kill The Sims 4 by ending it. So until I get a more detailed version, all you'll need to do at this point is plug in a USB drive into your machine, sign out of this account and back into your old one. Next, get the Electronic Arts folder out of the documents and copy it to your USB drive. then log back out. Go to the new account again, then open a file explorer window in the documents folder and copy and paste your electronics folder from the USB drive here, replacing anything that might've been created before. Cheesecake guys. Hey guys, check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you, or check out my most recent video below it. Thanks for watching!